everyone, I'm Mrs. Chu, and this is the English Book. So the first thing you'll notice when you walk into our English Block is this specially designed wall, and it is covered in quotations from some fantastic books. Now I challenge you to see if you could find out where some of them come from. Opposite the wall, we have this fab breakout area. So you can see these three small tables. Now your teacher might send you out here to do some small group work or possibly get a little bit of extra help with a support teacher. It's also a lovely quiet space to use on a night time. So you'll see these fab windows here and that looks into our English office. So there'll always be an English teacher in there to help you while you do some homework here. Let's continue our tour down to the computer hub. So, at the far end of the block, we have this fantastic computer area. So, these are available to students during lessons. Your teacher might want you to do a little bit of extra research on a topic, for example. Or, if you're in a small class, they might even bring the whole class to this area. The computers are also here on an evening as well, so you could spend some time doing some homework down here. And I would want to do it here with this view, you can even see as far as Pension Monument out there. Here we are at the last stage of our tour before I introduce you to another member of the English department. So this is my classroom, but all of the classrooms look identical. At the front of the classroom, they have one of these huge television screens. Now, unfortunately, they're not always for watching television. We use them to put our lessons on here and you'll be able to see them no problem from the back of the classroom. We also have fantastic movable whiteboards so we can get really creative with our lessons, get you up and using them as well. Behind them, we have lots of books that we are more than happy for you to take home and read. Now, you might be thinking for an English classroom, that's not very many. And that's because we have a brilliant library with a wonderful librarian, Mrs. Dixon. Now, up there, you can find over a thousand books. We've got everything from Tom Gates to David Walliams to Harry Potter or something a bit more challenging like Lord of the Rings. I guarantee if there's a book you want to read, we'll have it up at that library. Hi, Mr. Oaks, I've got yeah. some questions for you. Oh, fab, cool. So, first of all, what sort of topics can the New Year Sevens expect in the first few years of Hermitage? Oh, there's loads, loads of cool stuff that we do. Um, so, I guess we'll start with Year Seven. So, in Year Seven, you can expect a wide variety of things. Um, some favourites that we do are the Gothic. Uh, which, if you don't know what the Gothic is, you could do a bit of research before you come up because it's super exciting. We also do different types of writing, so travel and adventure writing, where you can pretend that you're lost on a desert island somewhere, which is always really fun. But we also look at different types of media, so looking at things like TV adverts and how they kind of get their message across to you, as well as lots of stories that you might be more familiar with, so books, for example, or plays and different types of poetry. Some of our favourites from Key Stage 3 include Blood Brothers, which is a really gritty, exciting family kind of drama about two twins who are then separated and grow up in different households with very different backgrounds. And we also look at some Shakespeare, including Romeo and Juliet, which, if you aren't aware, is that tragic love story, and Much Ado About Nothing, which is a comedy about people who don't want to be together, but kind of do. So there's a really big variety in the first few years, which we hope will get you excited by English in the first few years of your secondary school education. In year seven, will I have to do lots of tests? Oh, absolutely not. No, we, instead of doing one big test, 
that you might be used to um, from year six, for example. We like to track your learning across the whole year with lots of little activities. Um, so it could be things like quizzes, it could be some speaking and listening uh, tasks, like mini presentations, but also uh, occasionally there will be longer writing tasks as well, where you really get a hone your creativity and be a little bit experimental with the stuff that you're doing in English. How often do we have English lessons? Okay, so at the minute, Year 7 do English three times a week, which equates to about three hours. But if you were wanting more opportunities to get involved in English and the English department, we've got lots of other opportunities for you as well, including a fantastic library that's getting replenished with lots of new stock all the time. And that is open break time, lunch time and after school as well. From the library, we operate with different book clubs, we have lots of writing competitions, but we also as a department run quite a few trips that you could get involved in. Some of the trips we've been on in the last few years have included some trips to Seven Stories, where we did little workshops and had tours of, of different galleries. We've also done quite a few theatre trips in the last few years, as well as different opportunities to meet some famous authors, which students have found very exciting. What would you say to anyone who's worried that secondary English will be much harder than primary school? Oh, I suppose the main thing I want you to know is that it's absolutely not. At its core, English is exactly the same in year one as it is in year 11. Now, of course, some things do change over those years, but at its core, English is just about reading, writing, speaking and listening. And those are the four things that will continue to crop up in every single year of your English education. I think the main thing that does change is actually a positive rather than it being harder. You get to appreciate a much wider variety of genres, types of texts and types of writing as well. And you get to learn how to use those writing skills to get what you want. So you develop your creativity and your curiosity rather than it getting harder or more challenging. It's been a pleasure to show you around the English block today. Bye.